How's everybody doing? Okay, so in this short video, I just want to uh, demonstrate to you how I went about mounting a custom built speaker enclosure onto this Walther's GP9 frame and how I uh, went about mounting the uh, Lock Sound Direct uh, sound decoder board. Okay, so first of all, I needed to remove this. Uh, this was the part of the frame. Um, it's a sort of speaker enclosure, very bulky, heavy thing. Uh, I know it takes some of the weight out of the locomotive, but of, out of all the chassis uh, modifications I've done over the years, I've had no problem. You know, maybe if you're going to haul 100 cars, but then you're going to MU anyway. So that had to go because there's no way that you can build a large speaker enclosure like this and accommodate it on this frame unless you remove this section. So what I did was is I, I hacksawed off here and here and then on a disc sander I just cleaned it all up nice. And this way I can now accommodate this large custom built speaker enclosure which actually turned out to be larger in volume than the SD40 frame I did for 381. That really surprised me. Um, so there's room there for the drive shaft, plenty of clearance there. And uh, I left some room here for the light LEDs and then uh, a little bit of space on the top between here and the uh, long hood um, body for, you know, wires and, and, and so forth. And then in terms of the board, what I did was is I had to uh, epoxy on a mounting block here with two holes drilled out. And then I used the original one right here because that matched up to the board like this. And then that's how that board gets mounted on there. And everything's cherry. Now how I built this particular box, uh, some of you already know this, so forgive me if you've already done this yourself. But So I basically get an idea of where I want to start first. I just tape a piece on to the frame like that. And then what I'll do is, is you know, maybe I'll say, okay, well, I need to have a brace there and I'll uh, add a piece of brace on there. And then I'll come in and I'll add a piece. I'll just trial and error and then mark it, right? Back here, just, you know, to clear the drive shaft there. Like I want to take up as much space as I can for the enclosure. Why? Because the larger the enclosure, the better the bass sound. The more throatier sound that you get. Um, especially with these HO scale locomotives. And then I, you know, I'll figure out after that's glued up, I'll leave that taped on, then I'll run a piece of dry run and then, you know, say, okay, so I want to come to here. I'll mark it there or here. And you just dry run it and then you just tack, you just sort of chase it along and until you get the bottom, like you get this frame piece here, the bottom, this return and then the bottom plate, and then the riser there. And then once you got that established, you can take this and just lay it on sideways onto a piece of plastic like that, and you can just trace it out, right? That's how I do it. It's, you know, there's no rocket science there. It's nothing magical about it. It's just basic, practical way of laying it out. And then what I'll do is, is I'll epoxy uh, this speaker enclosure now, which is also braced up on the inside with quarter round and angle you know whatever you want to choose to use and then I'll epoxy uh, this area and this area here so that it becomes part of the frame right and then what I'll do is is I'll probably run some quarter round as I described in an earlier video on the inside like so and then I'll lay my speakers one and two in here. I'll have one down on this end, one down on this end, and then I can just fill it in, you know, like so. And then I use canopy glue to uh, seal off the speaker because the canopy glue can be peeled away uh, if uh, you have any issues down the road. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.